Hello everyone. I'm working on uh, replacing my um, my rear axle here. This is a Toyota Tundra uh, 2008, but it should be the same up to 2020. Um, I have seen a lot of people re replacing maybe the the differential itself, um, but I haven't really seen people replacing the whole axle. I have seen other cars being replaced, like Scotty Kelmer was extremely helpful to me. Um, among other guys who are just working like me just here. It's, this is a one person job guys. Uh, I got the, here's got the new one is almost dead. Uh, I just lost one of the bolts in there. So I'm, I'm still looking for it. It's for the, the, the U joint. Uh, um, I'm still working on that. So this is uh, the piece from the junkyard guys. Um, it was uploaded to my truck and then I had to unload it and then uh, basically put it on. Uh, I'm still basically just in the final stages, but I'll be just uh, sharing with you some tips and some other things to do uh, Of course here guys if you notice here there are a lot of wires that's unhooked So go ahead and first of all of course ta take out the uh, if you guys can see there. That's my def uh, the, the the shaft right so it's hung up there by uh, wire um, Take that one off uh, of course guys there um, for the brake lines um you know i just found these uh, regular plugs in there so uh they are just stopping oil uh from leaking down uh, so that's extremely helpful um do that uh, cut it from there uh, for me though i do had to return uh i do have these um calibers that i'll be uh, just i ended up keeping this one because i didn't find another cab in there but go ahead make sure that you resource cabs um for the oil for the brake oil uh the other thing that i i ended up using guys is this 40 dollar um craigslist basically uh jack floor jack this is the only thing that i used uh and this whole design um uh so basically uh you know that's how i pulled it back and turned the thing around and then uh pulled it back in there and so now i'm just final stages uh, now, one of the tips, guys, I'd like to share with you now is the fact that uh, raise the jack a little bit up and then make it make some uh, uh, make the jack basically go up against the the springs in there, and so that way it will just literally fall into place. Uh, this is interesting, and uh, just when you make a little bit of pressure in there, just make it close enough, and then just push it up. And so, if you guys can see here, my my jack is almost out that way because I found out that that side was uh, in a little bit more, so I had to push it back a little bit. So literally, I was using the jack, and the wheels in the jack extremely helped me accomplish this job. Uh, I was really pleased with that. And uh, the other thing that uh, guys that I might share with you. Uh, now this is just the old unit guys here but if you can notice here it was extremely leaking fluid in there and then i found um it was making noise it was uh, i opened the oil thing and then i found that the oil is full of um iron like texture even though it's brand new oil i, I replaced so i thought it's just better rather than me replacing the uh, axle uh, bearing and seal on that side after I bought them, of course, I ended up saying, okay, uh, just it's better just to replace the whole thing. Now, here's guys, the, what really made this whole stuff worse. You guys can see here, this is the breather valve thing. I bought like a $10, I think it's like from the dealer, it was like 10, 11, something like that. And then I was really trying hard to remove the thing. But now this is after it has been see, uh, leaking fluid. If you guys can notice here, this is all fluid leaking and the previous owner never cared. Um, when I ended up buying the thing, I thought, okay, well, let me start from this. So I found this thing was really blocked and um, clogged and not really breathing at all, which made the whole thing leak oil. Previous owner even also added oil into the transfer case. Actually, sorry guys, into the differential. So it ran low in oil and then it was running really low in oil and the guy was driving it. If you notice here, all of the oil here and also in the and the wheels here guys um the wheel here this is where the tire was and just made a whole mess so just a, a regular maintenance guys would have really saved me thousands of dollars in buying uh, basically a brand new this is a 2020 uh differential here guys a rear axle that i ended up buying um 
and so anyways guys so uh, the most important tip guys there is to literally um just uh raise it up a little bit and then just try to negotiate between the between both sides go back back and forth in both sides and make sure that the um that the things are uh just basically falling into place there should be like a little bolt in here inside the springs here that little bolt will literally fall into place here down here and then up here into the um stock uh, pumps here um so you know um i think that the one i received from the junkyard is 2020 the only difference is that even though this one uh this one came complete that this these stud nuts here are actually 19 um and the ones from uh, i think from 07 to, to, to 2000 and uh, maybe even 13 is actually um 17 and so and so eventually i'll be reusing those but i'll have to uh you know literally open up the whole thing and then um make sure that uh i reuse my uh the manual brake uh the emergency brake line i'll be attaching that again and then hopefully that i'll just drive the uh the car like that but basically guys i'm just in the final stages um take your time uh, and then the way i unloaded this guy from the truck is that i, I have two extra tires as you guys could see here uh, there's here's the two tires I have so what I ended up doing um, I ended up pulling one side of the uh, axle out of the truck uh, and so that way it was so literally guys I had to push it out this way and then what I ended up doing I ended up installing that wheel in it this wheel in it and then the whole axle basically guys was upside down when it was upside down like that once the one side was pulled out of the truck I was able to install the other tire uh, that uh, that I have, right? And so um, with that in mind, I just put it in um, that way and then I started wiggling it out of the truck. Um, and then literally this other side just literally rolled out of the truck slowly uh, through me basically guys uh, going into this side here and literally pulling it out this way. Um, and so I was able just to unload it myself and then of course guys I had to take the tires the, the tires installed back again because you need to raise the whole truck way up to be able to roll it back in so what I ended up doing I took out the, the wheel the tires again and then I just put it on my jack and then I you know I wiggled it slowly you need to lower the whole jack down when when you are pulling it in here uh, that way it's way easier and then once you are in here then you can start raising the jack up and then wiggle it in place um again guys good luck with you guys i just want to share these tips with you uh, and then of course guys i ended up also taking out uh the basically the shocks were really in miserable condition so um i said yeah i'll just give it uh i'll, I'll just replace those as well uh, at the same time so basically i started off by um i used my um just a final tip here guys i promise but here's guys is my wheel i uh, just ended up cleaning these studs uh, from the top really good and then i ended up um you know it just came out really good uh so here are guys the ones that i removed uh they are a little bit tricky but there are a lot of videos about that but of course guys here if you notice um there's a 19 millimeter um there's a 19 millimeter opening here you put your um, open side wrench in, in there, like basically it's like 19 millimeter, put it in there. And then guys, I spend a lot of time, uh, just I sprayed twice, um, basically, uh, you know, rust remover products, uh, whatever you are uh, aware of, just pull it in there and uh, put it in top of the stud before you start the w working on it. And then pull this beauty thing out, right? So, so this thing guys, stacks in there, but a lot of people, try to put something in there into the flat piece in there and then try to do that and it's really tight and hard this way is better just remove this guy down i found this guy was really rusty I ended up again just using my wheel um driver and they ended up just cleaning it a, a little bit on both sides and then my 19 wrench went in there uh really good uh that way i just used my 17 millimeter on top uh and then it was really easy to take out so just hold the 19 millimeter this way and then use uh, use the 17 millimeter on top and just wrench it out. I, I have a ratcheting wrench, so that was super easy. 
but you, you just have to take out the 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 first uh like the first things uh or actually the first uh just use your own breaker bar or something very strong to take it out first and then just complete with the ratcheting wrench that way you don't damage anything but this beauty thing guys can be taken back also if you want to reuse the whole thing fine but mine guys is rusted out um and it's probably just leaking fluid and stuff so i ended up just saying okay god bless i'll just um replace the whole deal i had a plan in the past uh, first guys is to use my um little um tool here to try to cut through it but i didn't uh it was just a waste of time um it wasn't reaching enough in there for uh, because it's tight space and just brushing it that way and then the other side i just did it the regular way as i told you guys these are the all all of the tips guys i have uh, good luck to you i'm just in the final stages here uh, this took for me probably three four hours uh, just take your time and um, and good luck to you guys hopefully this helps somebody out there uh, if you have comments or you want to send me questions please let me know um, thank you guys for uh, listening and uh, hope all goes well to you thank you so much